So before we jump into this video, I'd like to give you a small tip that I learned the hard way. So if you have your tripod set up with your whole camera and the whole setup, make sure not to run any cables underneath because I learned the hard way. And I pulled on a cable, it got caught on the tripod leg and pulled it over. Luckily, my lens had a hood on and that took the impact. It only broke a piece off and my field world monitor has a small dent on it but everything luckily still works that could have been a super expensive lesson to learn hi there my name is mario and if you are new then sit back and enjoy and for the rest of you welcome back i currently live in thailand and i only have a scooter i don't have a car so taking with all my gear to a different location is just out of the question i need to pack as light as possible and only take with me what i need and this is where experience experience really comes into play because if you know exactly what you need then you won't take with all your gear. I remember as a beginner when I went to a client shoot I used to take with all my gear and I only used maybe like 40% of it. So now I know exactly what to take with me when filming and for this video I want to show you what my setup for talking headshots looks like so maybe that can help some of you watching. So let's start with the camera bag. I got this a few weeks ago and it is decent quality and also has lots of space to work with. Let's dive into the camera bag. First off, we have this small LED light that I can place anywhere for extra light. This is a power cable for my bigger LED light that it will be placed on a light stand. HDMI cable for my field world F6 plus monitor so that I can monitor all my levels a bit better and then a leatherman to adjust and loosen screws and also stab someone if need be just kidding in the main compartment i have iced coffee because i can't go without it for even one day yes i am addicted this is my canon eos r with a rf to ef adapter and a 50 millimeter lens three meter audio cable so that i can place it anywhere and it doesn't have to be just on the camera this helps to get the best quality audio possible. The Canon 18 to 55 millimeter lens for if I have to film a two person interview. An adapter for the Canon EOS M50 that I also take with as a backup or sometimes a two camera setup. In the side pocket, I keep all my batteries to keep it neat and for easy access. For this shoot, I will also take my two light stands and my tripod. I always charge my batteries the day before so that I know that everything is good to go for the next day when I start filming. I've got my camera set up with the external monitor to make sure all my levels are correct and the subject is in focus. I placed my light on this side to fill in the person's face because I'm using the window on the other side for natural light. This is a bit tricky because the sunlight changes as clouds roll in and time ticks away but you can get away with it. Behind the person speaking I placed my smaller LED light to separate the subject from the background and I placed the mic right in front of the person speaking. This helps to get clean audio. Then hit record, make sure the audio levels are good and also remember to make the talent feel comfortable so it's easier for them to speak in front of the camera. There's a lot of things to consider and remember when doing a talking headshot. So I would say make a list and write down everything so that you don't forget anything important. Planning is the key to a problem-free shoot remember that thanks for watching i really do appreciate it please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button go out make awesome content and i'll see you guys in the next video